Hello everyone. Um, so today we're going to go ahead and practice some um, TSI uh, remedial skills such as um, adding and subtracting fractions. So this is a pretty good fundamental skill that uh, all students need to know. So let's go ahead and warm up with some um, adding some fractions with the same denominator. So I want you to go ahead and give these a try. Keep in mind these, uh, these two examples have uh, the same denominator. So it should be pretty straightforward um, addition from what you remember. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and give this a try. Okay, so uh, we have the first fraction one over two plus three halves. Um, and we see that they have the same denominator. So whenever you have the same denominator, it stays uh, the same. So my denominator stays as a two. On the numerator, however, I got one half plus three halves. Uh, for some students, it is easier to convert these um, to decimals. So a lot of students think, oh, that's 0.5 and three halves, that's uh, 1.5. Uh, and they're able to do that. Um, if not, you can perfectly add these when the same denominator, one plus three is four. Um, and four over two, we can simplify that. That gives me two. The same would have occurred if we went ahead and did it plus our uh, decimals, so 0.5 plus 1.5, right? 50 cents plus $1.50 is $2. So the same thing goes uh, it pretty much out of preference or whatever um, you guys prefer, right? Uh, the next example is 1 fourth plus 3 fourths. So go ahead and give that a try. So depending what method you chose, you could have changed it to decimals um, since 1 fourth, you know, um, is... 0.25 and 3 fourths um, is 75, right? Um, if not, you could have left this all over four, right? Because they both have the same denominator and one plus three gave me four. So four fourths, right? It's a whole, so I'm left with one. The same thing happens with uh, 25 cents plus 75 cents gives you a dollar, right? So um, a lot of times fractions are intimidating, but they're really not. Um, so let's go ahead and see what happens when fractions have different denominators, which is what I think um, uh, gets to intimidate more students, I want to say. Um, so adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. So here's um, what I want you to know. When they have different denominators, they, they don't work like we just did on the do now. Um, they're actually a little bit, I guess, one extra step, but other than that, they're pretty much the same. So let's say you have a, a fraction with uh, different denominators. What I want you to do first it's find the least common multiple. Um, and this is from your middle school skills again, uh, the least common multiple. And you're gonna go ahead and use that to make sure that the fractions have the same denominator. Okay, once you have, um, once you multiply to the fraction uh, to have the same denominator, um, and we'll see an example right now, uh, you can go ahead and multiply, uh, you can go ahead and add or subtract just like we did on the do now. So go ahead and pause this video and write down those notes. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and start on our first example. So the first thing you should see right here is that I have one half and I have three fifths. So this will not work just like we did um, in our previous examples, right? Um, specifically because you have um, this right here is one half and then this is in fits. So totally different um, sizes in the pie chart, right? So what I want you to do is you're going to try to make these have the same denominator. So you're going to find out what um, what common factor, what is the least common factor between two and five. So a lot of students like to think, oh, is there a way I can multiply some number to become five? Well, two is even and five is odd, so that's uh, not going to happen. But is there a number that two and five have in common? So go ahead and think about that number. What two numbers? Um, what number um, has both two and five as the factor. Keep in mind there's, there's plenty, um, but we're just looking for the lowest one. So hopefully you were able to see that if I go ahead and multiply two times five, I get 10. So hopefully you're thinking about something in terms of a denominator 10. And all I did to find that was that oh, two times five gave him my 10. Okay, so now in order to do that, you're gonna go ahead and make sure everything has the same denominator. So you're gonna have to go ahead and multiply right here. So what times two gives me the denominator of 10? So two times five gave me the 10, but whatever you do in the denominator, you have to do in the numerator. So this has to be times five. So this right here, 
five times one gave me five and five times two gave me 10. And if I reduce it, five over 10 is still one half, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing for my other fraction, okay? So the next one says uh, three fifths and I wanted to have a denominator of 10. So what times five gives me 10? So times two, I gave me the 10. And what I do in the denominator, I have to do in the numerator, so two times six, I'm sorry, two times three gave me six, okay? And look how nice that is. They both have the same denominator. I can go ahead and um, simplify this. So 10, plus, 10 in the denominator stays the same, and five plus six gave me 11, okay? Just like that. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and summarize what we just did. We found the least common multiple, which was 2 times 5, which gave me 10. And from there, I go ahead and made sure that each one of my terms was multiplied by whatever gave me 10 in the denominator. So this one was multiplied by 5 in the numerator, and this one was uh, multiplied by 2 in the numerator and denominator. Okay. So I want to go ahead and make you guys give it a try. So go ahead and pause the video give this one a try. Okay, so from here guys, um, we have uh, a variety of, uh, of common factors, but there's one that we can go ahead and use and it's the least. So from here, we can see, well, I can use green, uh, that I have 10 and I have five. So for sure they're different numbers. But as I mentioned before, is there a way I can make, let's say, um, this 5 into a 10? Well, yes, we can. But how do we do that? We actually have to multiply by what? What makes 5 into 10? Well, if we multiply by 2. Keep in mind, if I multiply by 2 in the denominator, I must do it in the numerator. So this one was a little bit different, but still the same thing. So in reality, I have 1 over 10, right? Plus 2 times 2 gave me 4 and five times two gave me 10. Look how nice that is. So now I can go ahead and add these. One plus four gave me five and 10 in the denominator, okay? Um, keep in mind, we can go ahead and simplify this and this should give us one half, right? All right, so not that bad. Let's try the next one. Five sixths minus one half. So go ahead and make sure they have a same denominator. So this one right here has a six, it's even, and this has a two, it's also even. So for sure, these are factors of each other, okay? So is there a way to make the two into that six? What would, what would be that factor? So go ahead and pause the video and tell me what is, what would be your solution here? So hopefully you're able to see that if you multiply this by three, multiply by three, both numerator and denominator, you actually have, let me go ahead and write this down. You actually have one times three gave me three and two times three gave me six, okay? From here, I'm gonna go ahead and simplify, uh, subtract. So I have five minus three that gave me a two and the six stayed the same in the denominator. And I can go ahead and simplify. Everything here can simplify. It's all even. So divide by two, divide by two, right? To simplify to lowest terms, gave me one over three. Okay. Ooh, what happens if they have um, variables? Well, keep in mind the denominators are still different. So you probably you still need to think. Oh, hey, I need to make the denominators the same. So what would be the common factor of these two terms? Okay, so pause the video, find out what is the common, um, the least common factor of these two terms. So we were able to see that we can't really see um, what the factor is, but if we do multiply them together and we get x, y, that is a factor of both of them. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. So if I have X and I want X, Y, what is it missing? Well, I have to multiply by whatever is missing. And I can't just do that. I need to go ahead and do it for both um, the numerator and denominator. So this is y, five gets multiplied by Y. So in reality, 
this new fraction right here would be 5y over xy. Okay. Let me go ahead and do the next fraction. Oh, don't forget this was subtracted. Okay. The next fraction says that I have a y by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and get something that's going to give me an xy. So hopefully you can see that if you multiply by x on both sides. So 1 times x is just x. And this will be our xy, right? Um, keep in mind, multiplication, the order does not matter. It's still the same thing, right? xy, yx is the same thing. Okay. So we can simplify this. Um, I have the same denominators now. So I'm going to go ahead and see 5y minus x. That is 5y minus x divided by xy. Okay. So that should be our solution. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and ask you guys to pause uh, the video right here and give this one a try. Now they're being added, but the idea is still the same. So go ahead and find out uh, what is the common factor. We're still working with x, y, so it should be what? So x times y is always a factor. And in this case, it happens to be the least common factor. So you're going to go ahead and multiply by whatever this is missing. So this is x. I want x, y, so it's missing. Multiply y, multiply y. So the left parentheses is 3y over x, y. Plus, well, let's do the next one. Uh, 2 divided by y. So I have y. I want x, y. So I'm just going to multiply by my x on both sides, on top and on bottom. So it's going to be 2x divided by x, y. So we have these nice little fractions. So go ahead and see that these are the same um, denominator. So we can go ahead and add, add these uh, straight across. So 3y plus 2x over x, y. OK, so it doesn't matter if they are not um, numerators. I'm sorry, if they're denominators um, uh, variables. Um, as long as we still get them to have the same denominator, we can go ahead and add. Um, keep in mind, guys, this are being added together, right? So we cannot um, cancel anything here. We cannot, uh, I guess what you guys like to say, cancel. Uh, these x, um, x, y, and this 2x do not simplify, okay? Keep that in mind, okay? So hopefully this was able to help you in finding out um, how to add and subtract fractions with common denominators and with uncommon denominators. So Overall, it's not that bad, and this will be pretty common in our pre-calculus class for them to not have actual values, for them to have uh, uh, variables instead. Okay, And I believe that was my uh, last example, guys. Okay, As always, guys, it's a pleasure, and thank you.